support us and, and be part of the community, which is great. And all of you, once you graduate high school, you can even come in and have your name up above here and sell your own artwork. Um, John Emery, who's been around since day one of Strawbridge Art League, so he's like super old. So <laughs> you might want to lean in because he talks quietly. Um, this is in Lori Narek, who's one of our favorite artists around here. She's always fun. And this has been her, her baby for years and years, this student art show. Um, I think it's amazing. It looks great. The kids are so talented. I don't ever, ever remember being this good in high school, so I think I'm stunted. <laughs> and there's some amazing pieces. Some are for sale, so please support student artists and purchase their work. And I'll hand everything over to John Emery, our vice president. Glad everyone could be here and make it. Uh, I, I've spoken several times, some of the art teachers know me. Um, I use myself as an example of someone who can actually make a living here in Brevard County as an artist. For 40 years, we, uh, my partner and I, Jerry Preston and I, formed Preston Studios in 1976. We just had our 40th anniversary exhibit in the Fusca Art Museum in November and December of this past year. So it's possible to actually make a living in this county as an artist. Um, I want to thank Lori Merrick. She's chaired the show for years. And uh, we actually have a president who is younger than, than I am. <laughs> John Mark is our president. And we're very pleased to have him as our president. So uh, we'll get started with the awards. Um, I, one of the things I wanted to say is that every year we seem to be impressed with how the artists are doing. This year, I want to tell all the parents, whatever you're feeding your kids, keep feeding it to them. The art teachers, whatever you're doing in the classes, keep doing it because this has been one of our best shows ever. Um, one of our judges was so impressed with the 3D that she donated the funds to get the awards out as a special 3D awards this year. So this is the first time we've ever doing that. Renee Decatur is the one who donated. Wow. So that we were very pleased that she donated. So Renee Decatur, these are sponsored by Renee Decatur. So we will start as we usually do with our merit awards. And we have 11 merit awards this year. These are our, our works that the judges noticed and thought there was something very special about them. Either the accomplishment of technique or the originality of one or the other. And we start with uh, uh, the first Merit Award, we like all the Merit Award winners to, to line up here. We want to get a group photograph of the Merit Award winners. We're starting off, the first Merit Award goes to Gillian Weaver of West Shore Junior Senior High. Is Gillian Weaver here? Yay! The second Merit Award goes to Hannah Scheinman. Hannah Scheinman. Excuse me. Hannah Thank you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, one more. John? Yes. One more, John. There you go. Okay. I've been waiting for this for a long time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the third merit award goes to Emma Ramonzelis Conde. <laughs> Two, there are two Merit Awards in there at once. 
Congratulations. Grace Bryant. Grace Bryant. I don't think she's here. She had okay. a volleyball practice. Uh, the next one goes to Vitalia Baderencia. This is an elementary school. Yeah, she's not here. She's not here. Okay. All right. So this is. So if, oh, could you all line up yes. right here? And uh, who's doing the children? Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, a lot of them. Okay. I'm trying to get you guys. This might be getting in the school kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Ready, girls? Three, two, one. Chloe, you look like you're happy. <laughs> Yeah, because there was two, three, four, yeah. We're, uh, and we were, 